it's the, the love of the natural world. You know, when I think about what our world would look like if we don't have the keystone systems, animals, plants that hold it all together, it'd be a very different world than what we're, what we're living in now. So I'm Cynthia Pohl. I'm the principal of Living Lands Landscape and Design. We're an ecological landscaping company and I'm also a green roof professional, um, accredited through Green Roofs for Healthy Cities, which is North America's nonprofit association for green roofs and living walls. It's, it comes right down to the basics of trying to do my part to help sustain this natural world that sustains us and you know all of the other species that don't have a voice. So I've been able to observe and over the years start to understand the complex and beautiful relationships that exist between plants and animals that have evolved over tens of thousands of years. I guess in my experience and all the different aspects of landscaping and gardening that I've been involved in, I can see people change as they start to get to know more about the natural world and more about how to interact with it in a natural way. It, once they start focusing into the natural world, they can get so engaged in it that I actually went on a, a drive with a client, just driving through the city, looking at different trees, taking quite a bit of time to just decide just which tree it was that they wanted to you know, bring into their landscape and in a way, bring into their family. I've seen the change in people when they come into natural spaces. I was the head gardener at the Ellis Bird Farm for 17 years and had a lot of opportunity to interact with people in those gardens. And it was, and they, they, people said it over and over, how when they came into the space, they just were like, oh, something's coming into the space is like, it's, it's, it's magical. And, and, and I get the same reaction in this space as well. Yeah, they have vegetables that they, that they grow up here, that they take down to the kitchen, they use them for their celebrations. So I'm hoping to have, see more of that um, throughout our community because it just makes for a much healthier workplace. And, and I'm hoping to see them on schools and on, on healthcare institutes as well because many studies have proven that there's increased learning, increased knowledge retention, This green roof and the one on Catholic Social Services are both accessible and for the staff to be able to come into these spaces, it's just, it makes all the difference to them. It, it's their favorite part of, of the workspace is being able to have this little bit of nature exactly in the building that they're working in. When we do have access to them, it, it has us functioning better, it has us healing better, learning better, um, being better work workers, there's less absenteeism. So I'm hoping that um, we will see the embracing, embracement of green roof technology and we will start seeing a lot more green roofs, hopefully biodiverse green roofs, um, throughout the province and the country. So I'm hoping that um, in time, Red Deer itself will start creating positive pol policy for green roofs so we start seeing more of them. One of the taglines of my um, business card is composing with nature because I'm always um, not trying to impose on, on my designs but I, so I design them and then I try to work with them and, and so the natural world becomes just as much of a designer as I am and lots of times she has much better ideas than I have. <laughs>